Greetings everyone and welcome back to more Rhapsody and Musical Adventure on the PlayStation 1 with me, your host Rabbit. In our previous episode, we finally were able to make it to Blue Cat thanks to resolving a slight misunderstanding between the captain's daughter and her boyfriend. Turns out he didn't actually call her fat, but instead he called her... Not curvaceous. I think he said she was full-figured. Uh, but anyway, he mentioned it as a compliment, but she took it as an insult, and that's why she decided to stop eating. But all is well. I think we actually still have the food in our inventory. Oh, no, we don't. But we do still have the toad in our inventory, so I don't know what happened to the toad barbecue. We might have just given the, it to them. But anyway, we made it to Blue Cat. We spent the majority of the video once we reached here just exploring and talking to people, and we found out that where we need to go is the Tower of Wisdom, and it is within this tower that the wise mage that our grandpa knows resides, so we want to get up there and talk to him. Ah, Polanski, that's his name. Hmm, please come in, Sage Polanski. Huh? What's this? There's a small hole with a picture of a cat on the wall. That's weird. A cat's picture? Does that mean that we have to bring a cat? Oh, dear sweet Cornette, it's hard to believe you've made it this far. Oh, it's a twall. Ha! Bring a cat, she says. That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Oh, Cornette, if anything, you're always good for a laugh. <laughs> In a dumb country bumpkin kind of way. Well, enough with the pleasantries. Listen very carefully, Cornette. The cat's picture represents a cat's eye, a special stone from Blue Cat. And the hole next to it is where you put the cat's eye to open the gate. I can't believe you couldn't figure out something so simple. It's all right, Cornette. Not everyone can be as smart as me, don't you think? Uh, yeah, whatever. What are you doing here, anyway? Don't you have a broom to catch? <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? Anyway, if you really must know, I'm going to get even with Marjorie. She's going to pay for what she did to me. No one messes with a Toile Rosen Queen. No one. So, you're going to help us? Ha 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 ha. Oh, you two are so funny. I hope you weren't under the impression that I was going to help you. Why don't we bet on who can save the prince first? Then why did you give us a hint? Well, if you really must know, it's not fun to compete for something that I'm going to win anyway. Well, do your best. Not that it will do you any good. Ta-ta for now. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Etoile, you come across as such a bitch, but we know you love us. And I can tell Karuru's on to her too. She showed up just to tell us that. It takes skill to be as annoying as she is. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. So there's a small hole. Perfect. We got to run and get one of those cat's eyes, which cool enough. There's a place called Cape Hope, but I believe the cat's eyes can be found in Cat's Eye Mine. So this is where we're going to go. And I'm a little bit nervous about this just because... Koro's level one, so I'm gonna save in case we die, which is <laughs> very likely. I can just reload and we'll immediately be outside of the cave. And wow, we're about to reach five hours of gameplay. That's crazy. All right, so I don't think we can really find anything out here, so let's just oh, get started. Um, great. I hate this, guys. Like, I never know which way I should actually take. Uh, let's just do this way, I guess. And I try to, like, oh, no. I wonder if I should go back and explore those other levels first. <laughs> I always get nervous, and I try to watch where I'm going just because I don't want to. Fuck! Okay, so we can go left, right, or straight. Um, okay, let's just start by going. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's it. All right, so we came from down there. I wonder if there's anything else. No, nothing there. Wow, seriously, game? Okay. So let's go back upstairs. Don't mind me talking to myself, guys. I just. I just want to try to, like, kind of keep it in my brain where I am. And what are these? Oh, just regular mushrooms. Okay. Oh, no. Can I reach everyone with my horn? Oh, I can. I've got to keep Koro in the back. And shit, I really need to level up my mermaid. And this would be a good place to do it since the monsters can't get past um, a certain level if we all kind of blockade the path. <clears throat> 
Oh wow, did he just confuse me? No! Oh god. This is bad. This is very bad. I'm just going to use my magic and kill them. I'm not worried about trying to capture them right now. My priority is healing, not healing, uh, leveling mermaid. Not mermaid, Koro, and then also leveling my mermaid. Jeez, guys. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even been playing for that long today, and already my mind is turning to mush. But all right, at least we took care of that before Cornette snapped. Yes. Awesome sauce. Let me see what Koro's at. And we didn't even look at what he is. So he's Thunder, and I don't know why his puppet is a robot. Uh, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but I guess that's okay. So he'll level up again soon. What I'm probably going to do is temporarily oops, switch out Charte. Damn it, that's not Charte. For my mermaid. And let me just put Koro next to. Just so I can keep getting her some. Yeah, some points. And did we just. What? Okay, did we come down the stairs? Or did we just come up the stairs? I don't... Guys, I don't know! Which one did we do? Ugh. I feel so <laughs> lost and frustrated already. We just got started, so this is not good. I think we already came up, so I think we should go back. Or maybe I need to go back just to the start, because I'm already out of it. This is what I get for trying to talk and do this at the same time. And oh wow, these things look really cool. Oh my god, don't touch my mermaid. Oh man, I've got to block that. Right, I'll just regular attack. And let me hydro them. And it's bad because this consumes so much of her mana, so I need to get her levels up. That's right, bitches. And I'm gonna actually move behind Cornette. Just to avoid taking too much damage. And we'll attack you. Goodbye. And Cornette should be able to finish him off. Alright, perfect, guys. We did it. Woohoo! Koro learned Shockwave. And Mermaid is now level 8. So that's fantabulous. And just to quickly see. Alright. So yeah, they will both level pretty soon, because we're getting a lot of XP. So anyway, okay, we need to go back up, I believe. And then, oh god, okay. I think this is where we started, right? Let me backtrack a little bit. I may be wrong. Oh, okay, so that's where we started. And I believe we went that left way. Uh, okay. I'm just going this way. I don't even know anymore. We'll just pretend this is the right way. These dungeons confuse me. And you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna just keep going straight. Illustration 7. Ooh. Well, that's really nice. So let's just take a gander at it. That is so cute! It's Cornette and Karuru and that little rabbit thing that we saw in the Wonderwoods way back at the very beginning, which, as you can probably guess, will be a puppet we'll acquire later, but we don't have him quite yet. I honestly don't even remember its name, but I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just, I guess, go left and then we'll go right and maybe go back downstairs. I don't know, but either way, let's blow our horn. Just to get everything moving. And I kind of want to start my little barricade here. Just to hopefully minim Ooh, minimize the risk of them attacking my mermaid. Damn it, is he doing this shit again? Maybe I should aim to capture these. That confusion is pretty nice. Alright, we'll attack you. And do her hydro again. I do like that the game refreshes all of your magic and um, health when you level up. That's very nice. Makes things a lot easier for me. And let me see. Oh, Koro doesn't even have enough magic to do this. So why would they let him learn the spell? That's weird. No, Cornette, what are you doing? Oh, alright. Well, that ended up working out. <laughs> 
Okay, no complaints from me there. Anyway, let's continue this way. Ooh, strawberry kiss. I think we found one of those earlier, so we're not gonna worry about it. All right, so let's go this way. Hopefully this will lead us just in a straight way to where we need to go. Uh, I always get nervous. Shit. Let's try this way. Oh, I wonder if we should go back. Oh, thank goodness. The healing ball. What the hell? Let's see. Restores 20 HP. Isn't that what the healing candy does? Maybe it heals multiple people. I wish they'd expand some of their descriptions because sometimes I feel it's very limited. But I guess that's okay. Uh... Okay, I wonder if we should have gone back down, because I don't know where this is leading us. But whatever, we'll remain hopeful. <gasps> Tara! Charte, what are you doing here? What do you mean by that? I asked Cornet to help me look for you. Come with me, okay? No way, I want to become a human. That's why I'm attacking any human looking for the cat's eye. Tara, doing this won't let you become a human. If anything, it'll push you further away from your dream. Charte, shut up. You don't know anything. Cornette, you're going down first. Prepare to die. <laughs> so guys, this is Charte's sister, Tara, who flies and is incredibly cool. I, I love her quite a lot. Um, she was, I don't know if she was my second favorite. <gasps> Fuck! Oh no! Stop it! Leave, leave her alone. Oh Jesus, don't touch my mermaid. Is not gonna work. Guys, if I lost my mermaid, I am going to be super pissed off. Uh, I probably don't need to do that, but let me heal myself. Okay. God. How lame. Why would you do this, Tara? This is not the way to handle your frustration. Oh, she's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, easy enough. Woohoo! And our mermaid is level 9. Cool beans. Die, humans! Ew! Uh, what are those purple things? They must be the ones controlling her. Ah, so maybe it wasn't Tara just being bitter and angry after all. Those things look super gross, though. What are they called? Nightmares? Ugh, that is a good description. And I need to try to stand in front of the mermaid if I can. Damn it. Well, I'll at least put myself kind of front and center. Maybe just to discourage them from attacking her. Good night. Oh, he's just putting us to sleep. I was like, what? What are you doing? All right, well, Elkoon leveled, so all of his mana is completely rejuvenated. So take that. And where's their health at? Oh, less than half. Okay, so they're gonna die. I could probably have her finish them up, to be honest. Don't worry, Cora. We'll get you where you need to be. All right, and they're gone, guys. So as you can probably guess, woo we are going to be able to welcome someone else to our party momentarily. Tara, you were being deceived by those monsters. I wanted so much to be human. Don't you feel the same? Why? I'm being loved, and I'm happy. You don't know anything about what I've been through. You don't know what it's like to be kicked every day and left to rot in a river. So Tara must have been the puppet that that little girl in Blue Cat owned and her mom was being a cunt and was like, Rah, my daughter talks to puppets. That's so abnormal. I'm going to throw her puppets away. I can't be loved. I see. You really do want to become a human. I don't just want to be loved. I want to love others at my will. And that's why you joined the monsters? I know what I did was wrong, but they told me that they'd turn me into a human if I helped them. Cornette, will you help Tara with your horn? If there's anyone who knows anything about love, it's you, Cornette. Cornette, please, please let me join your party. And of course, why would you say no? Thank you. So, okay, guys, we're going to blow our horn. And welcome Tara to the party. And this makes me super happy because I do love Tara and Charte a lot. Thank you, Cornette. I'll help you save your prince. Perfect. 
And I think it's cool that they're sisters, but at the same time, it's a little bit odd because how did they get separated is, I mean, it, that's a really big question for me just because it seems as though they're not human. So did someone buy Tara and then Charte just was sent to us? Because remember, Charte was in our mailbox when we first started the game. She was the first puppet we ever acquired. Well, second, I guess, because we had Karuru. Um, but anyway, I just think that that's a little bit odd. And let me just move you guys up and orient you. Okay, that's good for now. I want Koro to get up a little bit more. And then we'll just kind of go in order, I suppose. Actually, let me save. <laughs> this is a perfect place to save, to be honest. But yeah, I just think it's kind of weird that they're sisters, so I don't know if by sisters they just mean, oh, they were built in the same factory, or they were sisters when they were humans, and then they became puppets when they died. Like, I don't know what is up with that. Found cat's eye. Oh, really? Just in a treasure box, we found the cat's eye. Uh, okay, well, let's figure out how to get the hell out of here. And, you know, you know what, guys? Fuck this. We've got so many teleporters. I'm getting out of here. We're going back to the Tower of Wisdom. And I'm actually going to just call this a video. Um, we got what we needed, and we are close to being up on time. So when we do come back together next time, we are going to come up here and talk to, I guess his name is Polanski, and hopefully find out exactly what it is that we need to do to not only save the prince, but break the spell that was put on him <laughs> on accident by Marjorie. So thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Rhapsody Musical Adventure on the PlayStation 1. I'll see you in just a second.